Hi everyone, um, welcome to another video. A few months ago I posted a video about this uh, Vega Selena B215 radio. Uh, a very nice radio that it is. I really wanted the earlier version. And look what I've got. There it is. This is the Vega Selena B212 from about uh, the mid 1970s. It looks pretty much the same chassis as the 215, but there are slight differences which I'll go through now. Let's get them side by side. So let's just familiarise ourselves with the 215. And here's the 212. I just love that script at the bottom here. Selena script. Now unlike the B215 which was dropped over a fence to be delivered to me and smashed the case apart, this one has arrived in absolutely mint condition. Very well boxed, lots of padding. Seller did a fantastic job. He'd owned the uh, set from new. Um, and I didn't have to do an awful lot to it other than giving it a bit of a clean and a polish. Absolutely fantastic condition. The only bit of real sort of damage, if you like, is this uh, cap at the top of the antenna has got a little dent, but you wouldn't even notice that. It's absolutely fantastic condition and didn't cost me, I think it actually cost me about £2 more than the B215. But yeah, fantastic condition. Now let's get into the detail. Pretty much the same controls. The uh, Selena 215, sorry, yeah, the Selena 215 goes from about 50 metres up to about 17 metres on the short wave bands. The B212 goes from 180 metres up to above 20 metres on the short wave bands. They've both got five short wave bands on these. This one's got a better range. Unfortunately it doesn't have a BFO so I won't be able to resolve uh, uh, SSB. This, this one has got three switches to control the power and the dial lights and this one's also got an additional AFC button for the FM which works very well as, uh, as I mentioned on this one I heard a couple of, uh, I read a couple of comments um, on the UK Vintage Radio Forum the FM didn't perform very well on these, but both this one and the uh, and the B with two one two here seem to perform very well. Let's have a listen. So we've got the AFC button. We've got the mains power. You can uh, there's a mains lead which was never very good evidently. Um, See so these do have a mains transformer in them. Um, battery. So I presume you'd select mains power with that and then you the on off switch and then this button provides illumination however slight it needs to be on first for the tuning meter and the wave band window right let's uh, let's have a trawl through the short wave band shall we it's about six o'clock here in the evening in the UK um, Let's have a little trawl around and see what we can get. So we really, really want to be on uh, short wave band two, don't we? Really? Right. Let's see what we get. Some sort of interference. It's 
could be Radio China. That's definitely China Radio International. Switch on short wave one. What language is that? Is that Romania? Nothing on there. Right, let's have a look at. This is FM. Salmon has struck a left wing MP as a substantial politician and said it was clear. The sound quality is really on good. Key issues such as the welfare bill and Trident. For the same reason uh, that is having such success within the Labour Party, that poor people. Quite strange that people say FM's a bit rubbish on these. Right, I suppose everyone's dying for a look inside, are they? Right. Okay, same as the other set. Slightly different layout here. This one's got an earphone socket. Um, and this one hasn't, which is quite annoying really. Um, this one's got a tape, as has that one. Uh, oh, sorry, no, that hasn't got an earphone socket. There it is, there. Small one. Where is that tape? What has it got T on it? Hmm. I don't know, no, 60 ohm. No, I think that is tape. And then the aerial socket here. And this one's uh, still got the old waxy plasticine stuff they put into sealed case. Let's undo it and have a look. I'll switch the uh, camera off while I do right, this. So here we go. Here's a quick look at the inside. FM tuning models, modules there. This is the uh, the mains power supply side here. Looks like the mains transformer there. That's the back of the tuning meter. And uh, the wave change switch. Boom. Usually, when you get these, the first thing you do is clean up all these little contacts here. Some old Russian top hat transistors. Uh, 
very interesting to see the different designs. What's that say on there? Does that say 1276 on that capacitor? December 1976 or week 12 1976. Let's have a better look so I can see. Yeah. There it is. 12, 1976. Hmm. Is that eight? No, that definitely says six on that one. That's a six as well. Yeah, 1976 then. Fascinating, I love looking inside radios. See how they're built, how they're designed. Fascinating. Right, let's uh, close this one up. Couple that and end to another video. I've uh, stopped working on that Philips 555A that uh, I was working on a few months back. Got so frustrated with it, it's now gone back up in the loft. Um, I've got a few other valve radios to be working on. Um, I've done one which is sitting at my feet, just waiting for some grill cloth for it. Um, I think I'll show you, you guys that when it's ready, because it is a real nice radio. But um, I didn't have enough time really or the inclination to film it, because it was just another uh, uh, replacing caps video, which I'm sure we've all seen. Nothing wrong with those, but um, I felt like doing you know having a break from doing that sort of stuff um, you know filming it as well so anyway I hope you've enjoyed looking at the uh, Vega Selena B212 thanks for it very much for watching